Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing good. We would be talking about Google's new product that is Google Cloud Build. It's basically a CI CD tool to build and deploy your application. So before uh, hitting and getting started with it, let's let's I would urge you guys to uh, subscribe, like and share the channel so that it reaches out to the right people, people who needs DevOps information and support they get it right and they get my information which I am trying to deliver gets gets to the right people so I hope you'll uh, you guys will support it by subscribing and uh, sharing the content which we are making it together so let's get started uh, Google recently launched their own product called Google Cloud Build as you can see on the screen basically it's a CI CD tool just like uh, VSTS Microsoft's VSTS or, or Jenkins uh, or, or uh, any 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 uh, CI or CD delivery tools. So what it does, it 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 packages and deploys your application's code onto different environment. What are these environment? Let's let's probably look at those environments. It 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 can deliver your code to Kubernetes, uh, the containers which has been uh, created on Kubernetes, App Engine, which is again a Google's uh, product to, to uh, create your own application cloud functions and firebase and and what, what are the uh, probably uh, uh, providers that you can choose to execute your bills they those are maven gradle uh, go basil so yeah I, I understand that's pretty it's uh, it's still in its very early stage it, it supports docker images as well so so if you're using these uh, these uh, platforms like uh, Kubernetes or App Engine, uh, Google Cloud Build is probably the right uh, platform for you to use. It has been recently uh, launched by Google, so so not all of all of the all of the platforms like Windows or uh, some other products can leverage it. But if you're using, uh, if you if your companies are using one of these platform to host the application, probably you can look for. Uh, this uh, Google Cloud build to build and deploy your code. So I've got to open. I've got my console in front of me. I think. Yep, I have got my Google console in in front of me. If you scroll a bit below, you would see tools, and over here you will see Cloud Build. So click on this, and you get a couple of options: build history and build triggers. Uh, we do not have any history neither any build trigger before that I would like to create a source code repository those of you do not know Google has their own um, uh, source code repository just like GitLab or Bitbucket by the way uh, Google Cloud Build supports uh, at the moment GitHub and Bitbucket these are the two source code uh, management uh, platform which which uh, which can which uh, cloud build integrates with seamlessly so if you you uh, your company is using any out of any uh, these uh, SCM tools you can also use cloud build so I'll probably create one uh, so obviously uh, there are three uh, repositories three source code management which you can use with cloud build one with Google's so own native source code repository another is GitLab uh, and Bitbucket so I'm going to create a source code repository so that we can save some sample code we might not be able to do that right away uh, but with, if you have got uh, git installed locally you probably can do that as well so push you can push uh, code from your local as well just la just it's pretty simple to as you use uh, your git so what you're going to do is uh, I'll have to install uh, the repository or, or the G Cloud SDK for that. So once I have uh, created a repo and I have got my master uh, branch ready and some code in it, what I can do is I can go to Cloud Build, enable the API first, obviously. Uh, and then once uh, the API has been enabled, you can trigger your build, and and that build would would fetch code from 
three it suppose three repositories as we just talked about so if we go to go to build triggers we should be able to create one so see uh, these are the three repository which we talked about one is github bitbucket and cloud uh, source repository which is google's own repository which we just created a couple of minutes back by hitting the navigator over here and scrolling a bit down and then go to source code repository and manage your code over here as well uh, all right so you what you can do is uh, click on cloud source repository uh, that's the project it, it, it won't be able to build anything at the moment because there's nothing in that uh, repository uh, so you can give give uh, give it a name to your build uh, build one and then branch it tag basically you can build it using your branch probably you are using a master branch or develop branch or sandbox branch or you can uh, rather than using a particular branch you can do a tag and then do a regex or simply uh, type in that tag name if you have it handy I don't have that so I'm gonna do that branch then particular filters available over here included uh, files filters if you have any then uh, it suppose uh, it supports uh, to build configuration to build your uh, code docker file and cloud build yaml and then uh, repo name which is going to take uh, there's a variable created repo name which is going to take it from here here actually where, uh, where we selected our repo and then trigger a build it's gonna it's gonna fail at the moment because of obvious reason we do not have anything in our repository however still for the sake of the demo we're gonna hit that and we should have the error yep no matching branch but however in in your case you should have a branch uh, ready with with all your code in it so once uh, you have your uh, build being triggered and created and it has run success successfully you can go to build history and then you can see all your build over here that's pretty much all guys I just this this video was uh, uh, just to give you a glimpse what cloud build is all about if you would like to understand or know more about cloud uh, build uh, write it on on the comment section uh, so that I can, I can come up with some more videos uh, how to create CI CD pipeline for uh, Kubernetes or for dockerized application uh, let me know if you uh, if you guys have any requirement of such video uh, however the motive of this video was to make you guys aware that Google has come up with this uh, new tool and if you guys if you if your company is more for Google oriented wherein they are using GCP and then uh, they're using uh, go or, or some some sort of Google's native language you, you probably can uh, do a POC and understand how it can help your organization achieving the CI CD pipeline that's it for today I hope you've liked the video thanks for watching it